Hey again, let's be talking in this video about how we could do implement for a class car and how we create instance from it. So to get started, I will create a new file. I name it class uh, simple. So because we talk with the class first. So to start the class, you have to write word class, then space, then the class name. I want to do for car, so I will name it car, then semicolon, then go down. The class will have properties and will have methods. But you cannot mention properties directory here in the class. Uh, like for, you cannot say name or call uh, Hussein because this is not shared and you want to set and get. So it's better to use set and get. So define method, define a method, name it set, the type of the car that you suppose. Whenever, whenever you have any method in, inside the class, it have to take parameter self as input. Self means this class. You is, is this same as you are saying car. So instead of saying car, you say self. Whenever I say self, that means the class that I am in. So which class that I am in? It is the car. So this is like by default parameter. Then it take the parameter for car type. So now I want to set the car here. When anyone send me the car type, I will set it in my class. If they easily, I will say I will do it in this way. I will write self dot. Uh, I give it any name. Let uh, I write underscore type or call the type. What this one do for us? I know this is something new for you if you are coming from Java or C plus plus or any other programming language. When you say self dot type, that's mean hey in my class, create a new variable, name it type, and add this value inside it. This is what that means. So really, really simple process. So you don't have to define your variable on the top. You just say self dot and he will create for you and you could access to it from any place. So if I want to get it, like for example, get a type, the method. So this one will return for us a type. So you just say return, you say self dot underscore type. He will already, even this is in different method, even they are in different scope, but even when he here you ask for self dot type, he will already now you are mean this type that already been inside the class. So this is how to do set and get. So you you, you could repeat this process for the all the element that I have it for the my class, the second one, third one. I, I think we have five of them, five five elements. So this was first one. The second one was for set. I think setting the model okay so model let you suppose he take a input as a model and he set underscore model or we'll call the model as input i will use the small just here i have get so getting the model then i have what other thing the price so set price hopefully oh here i have i have to have to i have to have here a model also so make sure I just rename everything correctly. So model, model, then let me go next to the price. So I just repeat the code set price, price do it in this way. So uh, he get the price as input. He will set it here. So here you print the set the input to your price. So whatever he came, you take it as input and use it here. Same thing, getting. Someone who he want to get the price, you will go to and say, "Hey, return and sell to the price." Really, really easy and simple process. What about other objects? So you want to set the uh, miles, miles drive. You could do it in this way. So miles drive, it will take miles drive. Let me use it small. And here you add the miles drive as input. So did you see how I could add every object inside it? Then here I could get it. So miles drive, miles drive. So set get, set get. Same thing for the last one, which is the owner. So I say set, here is it, here's I set owner. And I will say, hey, I need the owner. Should be coming as input. And set it here. And here is I have the owner. Hopefully everything is correct. And when I want to, someone want to get owner, return or an object from the 
class now the class have all set and get method that I needed we said method uh, we said there is a method named it pr get price so I will define method name it get price so we said this method return a price depending on a specific thing so let me suppose it will get the price by getting the the original price that we have it so you say this is the original price that we have it minus how many miles he drive it miles drove and let's suppose we take ten dollar for every for every mile let's suppose in this way so this is basic normal function so this is normal function this is just set and get properties did you see it's really easy to set the price here and you get it here and also I could get it here so you could also you could say you could do it in this way for getting a price or you could do it another way that I will, I will show you in seconds so let me now work with our main method we said we have to have div and this div have a, let's suppose define the main method which is this one and this one take method name it main okay main okay and this main method need to be implemented so let's suppose this is main Oh, not this way diff main and here is it so the program will start from here now we want to create an instance from this car how to create an instance from this car and have all the information that are available in this car really easy let you suppose you, you create my car in this way you say my car or call a new instance of the car if you just write car he will already now open and close a bracket so now this instance have all these information of this car so if I want to set some information about the car so for example I want to set the type so just call uh, where is it set here is it set capital you need to set the type of the car you say uh, let's suppose BMW he already he will take this element and he will set it the type here so you could read it after after a while also if you want to define my car you want to give more information about uh, set set model for the car so uh, the model let you saw was 2015 and if you want to do more so what my car dot uh, set price set price where is it price let you suppose 260.000 and my car dot you want to set set the miles drive let you suppose you drive uh, 15 15 miles this car and let's suppose my car dot uh, owner should be for Hussein the owner name is Hussein so if you see we just create object okay name it car and this object we give it all the properties for model type of price miles all this information now developed in this one so now if I want to print to print the price just write print and you say a uh, new price okay just do it in this way dot format now I want to call this uh, faction just I say is it get a price no I cannot say get get current price because I have already get price get current price this is a new method I cannot have two methods the same name I already have get a price so I would say get current price call it which is inside this car so I say you would define it as a variable current current price or call you say my car dot get get current price you will already understand you will already do the process and find the current price for you and you could print it here now if i just print it run hopefully he will print something but i have to get some error because we did a lot of changes so let me see where is the error first of all he say python line 14 if it is main i don't see any error in this line diff main doesn't have any error where is it my car dot get honor I have to set it because here I'm setting not getting I need to set honor here not get honor because I'm set that I setting the information 
Are you around again? Hopefully. Here you go. He told me the new price is 2518 while it was 6000 But if you create a new object again and you say, hey, I have a new object, which is, uh, let's suppose, Alex car. And you want now to say, hey, I want to get current price. Okay. Hmm. For Alex, so you say, okay, Alex, car dot get a price. You would believe you could get the price, but you are not correct here, because Alex, let me see, and we discuss what's going on. There's an error. Do you know why? Because Alex as an object is totally different from my car as an object. Even both of them, they create a new instance from the car, but this one is totally different from this one. This one is a new object, and this one new object. When you say my car, you create a new a new instance from this class, and you inherit all the information. When you said Alex car, okay, that mean this is again a new instance. You you don't have any interaction with another car so you have you have to make sure this this one have to set all the information for him so if i want to do it i have to copy this information i have to go down and do for example my let's suppose alex car alex car and i have to do same process setting name price get all this information then i could print it so let me suppose this one is gmc this one 2017 this one is 28 this one is five mile and name is alex so now if you just rerun it again you would see new price and new price but it's better to display the owner name so hussein i want to display the name of of the owner we know i have a car if i just say my car dot gets i could get the owner because you already implemented this method so he will, so he could display the honor for me. Then he supply a new price for it. So now if I just click run, I will see Hussein in new price. Hussein's, you could do it like more professional in this way, like Hussein's car. So it should be more professional. Hussein's car, a new price, this one. You could do same process. Uh, Ace car, a new price. And you could do it in this way, Alex, and dot get honor. And you say rerun it. Here is it, Alex card, this one. So what I want to share with you in this video, you it's very easy for you to create in a car class name and you give it different method, and whenever you add any method, this method will go inside the as a, inside the object. So whenever you want to access to it, you could access it. If you see, I have here something named it, uh, set owner. I have get owner. So when here I was able to set the owner of the car and I was able to get the owner of the car. So in the same way, if instead set self dot set price, I could call this method for bring me the price. If you see, I have I have get price. So if I to call this method to make my code more professional. I would say self dot calling method name which is get a price you will bring a price for you same thing for the mile you say save dot get miles drive it's just more professional so why I say self that's mean I'm, I'm inside my class I want to call inside my class I want to call this method so he will go in my class he look for that method and he will give me all the information for it Yes, here we done and thank you for watching and see you next.